Venus, our nearest planetary neighbor, has long been considered a hellish world with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. However, recent research suggests that the planet's sulfuric acid clouds could be a potential haven for some forms of life. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating possibility of life surviving in Venus's clouds and the implications of this groundbreaking discovery. Venus's atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and trace amounts of other gases like sulfur dioxide and water vapor. This thick atmosphere contributes to an extreme greenhouse effect, resulting in scorching surface temperatures of up to 462 degrees Celsius. Despite its inhospitable surface, the milder conditions in Venus's clouds with temperatures ranging from 30 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius, have sparked interest among astrobiologists. Investigating the potential for life in Venus's clouds presents several challenges. The low water activity in the clouds poses a significant barrier to habitability, as it falls below the threshold for known extremophiles to survive. Additionally, the extreme acidity of the atmosphere on Venus, with a pH of around zero, makes it challenging for any known organism to thrive. The variability of acidity within the clouds further complicates the assessment of habitable zones, requiring advanced sensors to determine the conditions that could support life. Moreover, the harsh conditions on Venus, such as high temperatures and pressure on the surface, contrast with the milder conditions in the upper cloud layers, where water and nutrients may be more concentrated potentially providing a refuge for life forms. These challenges underscore the complexity of studying the potential for life in Venus's clouds and the need for innovative missions and instruments to explore this intriguing possibility. NASA has selected two missions, Da Vinci Plus and Veritas, to study Venus and potentially search for signs of life in its clouds. Da Vinci Plus aims to measure the composition of Venus' atmosphere, understand its formation and evolution, and determine if the planet ever had an ocean. It will also return high-resolution images of unique geological features on Venus, potentially reshaping our understanding of terrestrial planet formation. Veritas, on the other hand, will map Venus's surface to uncover its geologic history and understand why it developed differently from Earth. Veritas will use synthetic aperture radar to create 3D reconstructions of topography and map infrared emissions to identify rock types and potential active volcanoes on Venus. These missions, expected to launch between 2028 and 2030, represent a significant step in exploring Venus and investigating the potential habitability of its clouds. Recent studies have shown that RNA and DNA bases, as well as amino acids essential for life, can remain stable in concentrated sulfuric acid similar to that found in Venus's clouds. Researchers have also discovered microbes on Earth that can survive in highly acidic environments, such as the Picrophilus torridus bacteria found in acid mines. These findings challenge the assumption that complex biomolecules cannot survive in such acidic environments, opening up the possibility of life forms that are different from those on Earth, possibly based on sulfuric acid instead of water. The implications of life potentially surviving in Venus's clouds are profound. If life can exist in such extreme conditions, it challenges our understanding of habitable environments and the limits of life as we know it. This discovery could revolutionize astrobiology by expanding the range of conditions where life could thrive beyond Earth-like environments, providing insights into the diversity of potential life forms in the universe. Understanding how life could adapt to extreme acidity and lack of water on Venus could also shed light on the origins of life on Earth and the possibilities of life emerging in unexpected environments. Moreover, the potential discovery of life in Venus's clouds could have significant implications for our search for extraterrestrial life and habitable exoplanets. If life can exist in such harsh conditions, it increases the likelihood of finding life elsewhere in the universe, even in environments that were previously deemed uninhabitable. The possibility of life in Venus's clouds underscores the importance of further missions and research to explore this intriguing possibility. 
With the upcoming Da Vinci Plus and Veritas missions, scientists hope to gain a better understanding of the composition and dynamics of Venus's atmosphere, as well as its geological history. These missions could provide crucial insights into the potential habitability of Venus clouds and the possibility of life forms adapted to these extreme conditions. This groundbreaking discovery opens up new avenues for exploring habitable zones in other extreme environments, both within our solar system and beyond, enhancing our search for extraterrestrial life and habitable exoplanets. As we continue to push the boundaries of our understanding of life, the prospect of life in Venus's clouds serves as a reminder of the incredible resilience and adaptability of life and the vast unexplored realms that await our exploration.